Before the video starts, I just want to clarify and let you all know that I've uploaded something on Instagram. Now, normally, I don't really upload anything on Instagram because, I mean, what, I, don't, I just don't know. I, I'm not the type of guy that uploads. So, uh, normally, when I upload, they get like 20 or 30 likes and I have like 400 followers. That's kind of poor on Instagram, I guess, for me. I don't know. Numbers shouldn't matter, but... I like, listen, I'm, I'm just trying to get people to know my Instagram, okay? So, I've uploaded something on my Instagram. It's, it's basically a vacation where I was at. So, please go down and link in the description. And please go like it. It really does appreciate it. So, yes, please like it. Give me something, a reason to why I should uh, upload more on Instagram. Because <laughs> the last time, I think it was like a year ago. So, yeah. That's going to be it for me, and uh, enjoy the video. Well, guys, the quarterfinals of the 2020 Tokyo Olympics is finally here. Now, originally, I was going to do the match days, but my video got taken down because I, in I included a segment of match day one, which had more than 30 seconds of the Olympics. So it got taken down. Well, then it didn't get taken down. and just got blocked worldwide. So it's in the prison of my private videos, so you're probably never going to see it. So, uh, I told myself in the Florida Cup video, I'm going to do the quarterfinals and then predictions for the semifinals. So, I'm just going to pretend like the match days don't exist. I've always wanted to make a video on the Olympics, especially how it's football or soccer. So, anyways, I like Japan. You like Japan. Let's just get started. Koreo Yaro. I don't know. That sounded a bit cheesy. I don't know. The last the one I did in the match day, I sounded very happy but let's just get started so anyways our first game of the quarterfinals was spain versus the ivory coast now in the 10th minute bali or bailey finally or bali bollywood but he scores in the 10th minute from a corner as he kicks it to the ball into the net and the ivory coast take the early lead against the only european team in the tournament can you believe that spain the only team from Europe still in this. Ah, that's alright. But then Almo scores in the 30th minute as Iris number six tries to give the ball to the goalkeeper with his chest, but unfortunately it turns out to be a giveaway and Almo punishes the terrible mistake and that causes uh, Spain to score and level it. Then in the first minute of stoppage time in the 90th minute, Ivory Coast takes the lead as Gradale takes it for himself and the kick goes through Simon or Simon but Simon in Spanish you know but anyways the ball the kick goes through Simon and Ivory Coast take the late lead in the first minute of stoppage time the 90th minute but when it did look like it was going to be over for Spain for the pre-tournament favorites just two minutes later, Mir scored from a de terrible defensive play from the Ivory Coast. Just didn't do anything, just let the ball bounce. And that resulted in Mir getting the ball and he kicks it into the net. It's just, I mean, you had one job, Ivory Coast, and you failed the job. And that was to just kick it and clear it off your line. But you didn't. But like I said, that terrible defensive mistake that really came back to bite the ivory coast because goes into uh extra time and in the 94th minute during a corner there was an argument for a handball and it was reviewed by var and which came out to be true and it was a penalty and it was given a penalty in the 97th minute and oyazabal takes it and scores to put spain in the lead for the first time of the game then in the 116th minute spain scores as rafa mir scores in the corner of the box to extend the lead of spain into two goals and finally rafa mir scores a hat trick in the 120th minute as it is the icing in the cake for spain as they win and move on to the semi-finals good congrats you didn't lose to <laughs> the ivory Coast or Cote d'Ivoire. I don't know, I like calling it the Ivory Coast. Anyways, now we move on to Japan versus New Zealand. 
Now it was scoreless in the full 90th minutes, but there were chances from Japan in the 30th and 81st minutes, but the same goes for the Australians in the first minute of stoppage time in the 90th minute. Same goes for extra time, scoreless, and Japan did have chances in the 100th and the 101st minute, but there was a handball argument in the 107th minute from the Japanese, but the Australians, they don't get their penalty that they wanted, and it's not given, and it's still 0-0. Anyways, it's time for penalties, and fast forward as Kakais uh, just shot a save from Tani as he fails to make it one to two and then the next shot is a Japanese player which he takes it and scores and Japan take the lead 2-1 but the unlock strikes again for New, for New Zealand as their next penalty taker the shot goes over the bar and Japan does score in the next penalty which means Japan are leading 3-1 anyways uh, just fast forward and the captain the Japanese captain Yoshida puts the dagger in New Zealand as he scores and Japan move on to the semifinals as they win in penalties 4-2. Another game that was in the quarterfinals was Brazil versus Egypt. Now, uh, Egypt narrowly scores from a giveaway in the back of Brazil in the 12th minute, but the header doesn't make it in the goal. So, luckily for Brazil. Then in the 36th minute, Cunha uh, scores to make Brazil take the lead assisted from Rich Arlson But now there were a few chances there in the 42nd minute for Brazil and the 86th minute for Egypt But Brazil hold on to win 1-0 to and move on to the semifinals against the winners of Mexico and South Korea and speaking of Mexico South Korea they played tonight and actually it was at 6 a.m. But 12th minute Martin scores a header to give Mexico their early lead against South Korea but Dong Byung I'm so sorry for the pronunciation I don't speak any Asian languages I wish I could but I don't have skills to do that I mean, you could probably tell I mean, GPA 2.0 I'm an AP euro in about 30 days yeah you can probably tell anyways like I said South Korea uh, Dong Young scores a fantastic rocket in the 19th minute to level it at one apiece. No way Ochoa was going to stop that. Then Romo scores in the 29th minute to get the lead back to Mexico from a great pass from Mexico's number 11 and just a great first touch from Romo as well. Then one of the South Koreans pushes a Mexican in the box which results in the penalty and Cordova takes it and scores. Then Dong Young scores an amazing stunner in the 50th minute. And as Mexico were trying to clear the ball off the box, but fails, and that resulted in Dong Young uh, to score. Anyways, then in the 53rd minute, Martin scores again from a head from a free kick, and Mexico reestablished their two-goal lead. Then Mexico strike again in the 63rd minute as Cordova scores an absolute rocket. His shot hits the post and it bounces in the back of the net. No way the South Korean was going to save that. It's then Aguiar uh, scores in the 83rd minute to surely just make Mexico move on. And it's 6-2. Now in the 90th minute, South Korea does score from a header in the corner to make it 3-6. Th but I mean, it's too late. Mexico move on. It's basically just a graveyard. I, I kind of feel bad for South Korea. Now anyways, folks, it's time. For my predictions but i'm gonna take a shower so uh i'll come back to do my predictions hold up Woo! all right i finally took a shower ladies and gentlemen and anyways let's just get into the predictions and uh our semi-finals and who i think will be going to the, the bronze and then the gold it's basically the final and the match for third place anyways let's just go for our first semi-final is Japan versus Spain. Now, Spain, uh, they're kind of a tricky one, just like them in the Euros. They're, they're a mystery because they, they were kind of like silent in the group stage of the Euros and then they had a breakout in the knockout stages. But, okay. Uh, I feel like this one was going, it's going to Spain, to be honest. Listen, Japan, 
they're all right team but you know it was against new zealand and they went all the way through penalties and new zealand i mean they were all right though I, they were all right but what i saw with spain though they went a goal down equalized in the last few minutes of stoppage time and the 90th minutes and then they just went full out in the in extra time so i don't know i just i don't really know but i think it's gonna go to spain two good teams going at it i feel like it's gonna be spain i guess i'll go with two zero at that one so yeah now our next one is going to have to be brazil versus mexico now it's just like the 2018 round the 16 final rematch or I guess the 2012 Olympic rematch final, I don't know. Now, I'm going to have to go with Mexico. Now, Brazil, they're an all right team, but they're not as like, Mexico just seemed like the best team. That's what I'm trying to say. I mean, they have Linus, they have Ochoa, Cordova. They have so many good players, like, uh, Liga MX is a good, like, a good league. I mean, it's probably one of the best in the Western Hemisphere. And, I don't know, it's Brazil, uh, they have good teams. I know Rich Arson's good. I mean, Danny Alves is, he's, he's a leader in the back. But, I don't know, uh, this Mexico seemed like the better team. Linus, like I said, I mean, he was a great part, especially in the 80, I think it was like 82nd minutes. If uh, Aguilar's skull, he, I mean, Linus was just all over that defense. And then the great pass to Aguilar. So, yeah, uh, it's, I'm going to have to see. I'm, I'm going to have to say Mexico in this one. So, it will be uh, Mexico versus Spain final. Now, I think Mexico won the 2012. Yeah, I think they were in the final. So, yeah, it's going to be them. But hopefully this time... Has Spain even won gold medal? I don't know. But Spain, they're like the favorites. So I don't know. I mean, they have a lot of pressure. And then the bronze uh, is going to have to be... Which one? What is it? Oh, yeah. Japan. Brazil. Uh, I'll give my predictions to that if that's true. But, yeah, that was one of my predictions. On And anyways, on that note, guys, please like, subscribe. Okay? Like I said in the early video, I posted something new on instagram so please like it it does appreciate it so please like it make sure you can give me a reason why i should upload more on instagram i normally don't upload on instagram so yes anyways subscribe if you haven't because you might not watch me when the next time when you see one of these olympic videos so anyways like subscribe go like the instagram and i will head out see ya